There was very light traffic as I drove past McCormick Place onto South Lakeshore Drive. On the right side of the road, I noticed a newly erected, simple square stone sculpture with the words, You Are Beautiful, engraved large enough for all passers-by to read, even at 45 to 50 miles an hour. As the lake gleamed in the sunlight to my left, I passed the Museum of Science and Industry, the Jackson Park Marina, and the 63rd Street Beach House. I continued on, past the stately brick three-story townhouses along Jeffrey Boulevard, until I arrived at 79th Street and made a wrong turn, which ended up taking me past a beautiful 1920s-style theater house called The Regal. Its exterior, with one wall covered in murals honoring historical figures, and the other wall holding boarded windows below an aging marquee, was a somber metaphor for the parallel realities of this part of the city. As I turned around and headed east on 79th, the streets were quiet, the shops were closed, many stores were boarded up, and many buildings looked like it had been a while since a store even operated there. A short walk from the lakefront, the polygon-shaped brick structure which was my destination emerged on my left. A handful of people were scattered around this deceptively spacious auditorium when I walked in. On stage, six singers were running through their final rehearsals and sound checks. The red carpet and red padding on the benches were offset by the building's cream-colored walls and the brass trim of the balcony railings. Since the building faces toward the lakefront and the auditorium's windows were close to its roof, the sunlight poured into this space, filling the auditorium with natural light. Midway through the event, the singers began a rendition of a song called Total Praise by Richard Smallwood. It's a song I have known for over 20 years and it has been therapeutic for me at pivotal moments throughout my adult life. So it was fitting that on this Sunday, one day after I attended a memorial service for a close friend, and concluding a week of grieving and reflection, that I found myself tearing up as the singer sang the song's chorus. You are the source of my strength. You are the strength of my life. I lift my hands in total praise to you. Amen. As the choir ran through a series of melodic amens in the song's bridge, I did not have it in me to lift my hands. I allowed tears to flow, and as the sun moved directly into the window over my head, I allowed myself to feel and to heal. A few minutes later, an upbeat jazz saxophone solo completed my move from sadness to joy in remembrance of my friend. The journey continues in the Chatham neighborhood on the south side at the corner of 79th Street and Coles.